Wires are all screwed up. Yo, man, there's your problem. Man, it sucks being dumb. Hey everybody, this is the channel that shows you how to work on your own car, but probably do it the wrong way. My name is Giovanni, the stuttering mechanic. And today we're gonna be, be working on my 2000 Dodge Viper GTS. The problem is the radiator fans. Now I showed you in a previous video, in fact, this one, that the radiator fans are screwed up. I mean, not screwed up, I really screwed them up because, you know, I'm an idiot. And I, I wired them like temporarily, you know, I, I just, I got new fans for this car because this car majorly overheats and I was very sick and tired of the overheating. So I got new fans for this thing. And it's a shroud with two fans on it. And I didn't have the right, you know, waterproof connectors. I didn't have the right wiring. So I just, I just threw it in and said, oh, I'll just fix all this stuff later on. Well, I never got around to it. So now water got inside the connections and there's like rust and things and the wires are all hard now. Some of the insulation has come came off because I didn't put, you know, wire looms or any of that stuff in there. So anyway, that caused one of the two fans to stop working. And now it overheats um, when it's like 50 degrees outside, which is r ridiculous. So today I'm gonna go into the hood and fix all that wiring junk that I did and um, make it not only look good, but put the proper waterproof stuff in there so this won't happen again and it'll be just like very re reliable. Let's run to the hood. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So remember, all of this was done because I was lazy. And of course, w when you're lazy, you have to go, go back and do all the crap uh, a second time. So it's like you're wasting your time in the long run because you have to do it all again. And um, when you do it this crappy the first time, things tend to you know stop working on me, which is exactly what happened. Um, but yeah, this doesn't look too great, but you know, I'm gonna fix all this, but the real issue is like this right here. This is starting to fall apart, which is, oh God. It's like rusted, the wires are all screwed up and the rubber is coming off. But not, not only that, I'm gonna fix all of the, this mess right here. I'm gonna fix all of this. But there are connections way down there. These connections here, when you grab them, the wires are like very hard. So I think water just got in there and just messed it up and made it really hard and it's probably rushed in them. Anyway, I got the proper like stuff to redo all this. And hopefully this time I won't be lazy and I'll do it the right way, the, the, the second time. <laughs> it really should be the first time, but let that be a lesson. Don't be lazy like me. Just do it right the first time. So you, so you don't have to waste time doing it a second time and spending more money, spending more time. <sighs> Why do I do that? I'm, I'm, man, it sucks being dumb. So let's put this hood down, get this thing in the garage and get to work. All right, open this hood up and let's get going. So to get to all this crap, um, the air box has to come off and these hoses and um, this wiring and um, you know, this hose over here. And, um, I, but it's actually not that much, you know, so That'll take a couple minutes and then I can get to the radiator, which is right here. And I can get to those fans and start switching out all these, all this wiring, all this 
messiness can start getting cleaned up a little bit. Oh, this reminds me. Let me tell you a story. Um, man, you gotta be careful <laughs> when you're like yanking on things because um, this happened about a, ye a year ago. I was changing the uh, radiator hoses on this car and I was doing the same thing. I was yanking like this and then it, it finally came off and I hit my arm on, on this, you know, the hood mount or whatever and it split open my elbow so bad. And there was like blood everywhere. It was, it was actually pretty gruesome. So be careful if you're gonna yank on stuff cause it's, geez, it can be pretty dangerous I guess. I, I, I never would've known myself. So now that we got the airbox out of the way, you can clearly see the fans and the radiator. So what we have to do is Find that nasty wiring, which is right there, this, this stuff here, and then switch it out. And if you're wondering what, what happened with this, um, that was my handiwork also. Uh, I cut this because it wouldn't fit, you know, it wouldn't clear th this neck right here. And uh, it, it looks stupid and very bad um, because I'm stupid. So, if you're wondering about that, that's what that is. But hey, it fit, so that's good. Anyway, let's get to, I think I was gonna cut those wires and just start y yanking all the wires out and um, end up, I guess, right here. All right, so this is what I get for waiting too long. Look how badly damaged this is. I cannot believe it. Look at that. Wow. So as far as the fan not working, there's your problem. Look at that thing. It's only been like a year. I, I can't believe how badly damaged it, that wiring can get in under a year, especially in an environment where it doesn't even like rain too often geez so anyway this is why i'm fixing this and then if you look right here this wire is just hard as a rock i mean i, I can't even like move it it's as hard as a rock so anyway i'm glad i'm doing this because this is ridiculous
Okay, just got all this stuff done, the wiring, all that stuff. Uh, I got the fan shroud and all that stuff put in. Um, everything is good to go, I think. Now it's time to start it. Before I start it, let me show you exactly wh what I did. All right, starting from the fans here, uh, there's wiring that's right there. You see that black wire? This goes all the way to here. And uh, what I ended up doing was just grounding it right there. I thought that was okay. It's probably not, but you know, for me it's fine. And then I put this black wire right there all the way up to the front. And then I put relays right there. And on the other side, I put one right there. And those control the fans. And then those are hooked to power, which is right there. So now it's time to turn this on and see if both of those fans start up. All right, this is turned on. So to get these fans going, let's turn on some air conditioning and see what happens. We are good. All right, I got everything all put back together and stuff, and I turned it on. And from the outside, those fans are freaking loud. Listen to this when they turn on. Listen to that. They are freaking loud. But this car needs it. This thing gets hot as hell. This thing is nice and cool. So th those fans must be doing their job. So I'm pretty happy. Check that out. Those are all of the wires I took out of that Viper. These were all the crappy ones. All right, well that wasn't that bad. It was just, the reason why I'm doing this again is because of me. You know, I did it crappy the first time with all this junk, so now I'm doing it all again. Um, let that be a lesson to everybody. <laughs> um, if you do things right the first time, you don't have to do it four or five times later. So overall, I'm pretty happy about about how this went and the wiring and how it looks, how it how it how it acts. Um, it's doing its job, and I think it'll last a while. So that's good. So if you guys like content like this and you like watching me do things and screw them up badly, or you just like watching me s s stutter, whatever, um, please consider subscribing because there's a lot more where that came from. That pretty much wraps up this video. I'm Giovanni, the stuttering mechanic, reminding you that you can work on your own car because trust me, if an amateur like me can do stuff like this, then so can an amateur like you. I swear, every time I turn on all this stuff to make a video, there's a marching band coming around the corner being loud as hell. <laughs>